Hi everyone, so I actually already got some footage from the panels, but I forgot to start the vlog. So welcome to today's vlog. I hope you enjoy seeing me get excited about Shannon and Kara and Mark and the, oh, and Brett. Um, so yeah, enjoy some footage that I have taken from their very first panel of the Stranger Things convention, Shannon Purser and Mark. <laughs> and how well, how smooth it ran, aside from the fact that the people at Spectrum Motion were just terrific. Um, but, you know, I've, I've sat in a chair for like five hours, you know, getting in makeup, five, six hours getting in makeup, but that's usually when there's, you know, a lot of prosthetics that are glued to my face, a lot of body painting and things like that. But this one was, it was, you know, it was just several parts. It was like a suit that was kind of like a wetsuit, and then the arms were attached to that, and then I had, um, these green sleeves that went over the green sleeves that went over my actual arms, so that those were removed in place. It was digital green, and then uh, the, sh the feet were a separate part, and then the head. So it was you know it, it went went together pretty quick. And then during the day, usually you know I, I would stay in the suit itself um, just to save time. You're welcome. Do we want to I guess. <laughs> Hi. Um, Hi. So this question is for this question is for Shannon. If you if given the chance, if Barb would have lived, like, how do you like to see her like develop as a character or like work with other people? That's a good question. I I don't know. I do kind of wonder like what she would think about everything that went on in season two and stuff. Um, specifically like yeah, I don't know, I think I always have this image of her of like kind of like being like the Velma of like the Scooby Doo gang. Like, like I feel like she would have been there when like she and Steve and Jonathan were trying to kill the Demogorgon in the house. Like, I feel like she would have known, you know, what traps to set, and she would have like, she would have like, you know, like made Molotov cocktails or whatever. Like, she would have known how to do this. Um, so that's kind of like my fantasy is her like being around. It would have been over a lot quicker. Um, so are you guys excited for this weekend, huh? Yeah! Let me ask you a question. Do you like the show Stranger Things? <laughs> um, I'm Brett Gelman, I play Murray Bauman. Otherwise known as the weird Jew in the bunker. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And, um... I can't hear, I can't understand what you're saying. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, we're gonna be bringing people out here for the next two days. I'm gonna be checking in with you, you know, making sure you're okay. Experience, uh, I think it's, you know. make a law, like a rule? You decide. Wow, okay. Um, man, uh, the golden rule, which is already out there and people don't seem to listen, you know, like, Treat others how you want to be treated. I think it's very simple. Yeah, right? like this world could use a, um, a lot more empathy. And I think um, one of our greatest strengths as human beings is to be able to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes um, and to, you know, take a minute to think about what the other person might be going through before we speak. So that's that's all. So your birthday's coming up in four days, right? You're yeah, wow. <laughs> yep. 21. What are you doing for your birthday? And happy birthday, buddy. Nothing. <laughs> I am very boring, and I don't do cool things. I have a very cool job, and I'm a very boring person. To learn not to compare yourself to others. Um, there's the saying that, like, comparison is the thief of joy. Um, and I, I definitely experienced that, you know, there are so many talented actors, um, you know, and so many talented actors my age, it's very easy to like, look at what they're doing and being like, 
I'm not, I'm not as good as them, like they're, they're so much better than me, they're so much more successful than me, you know, it's easy to get caught in that obsession with wanting to be perfect and wanting to be the best. Um, and I think the important thing to remember is that, you know, every actor has something unique to offer, just as every human being has something unique to offer. Um, you know, there is, there is a humanity that you can put into a character that nobody else can. Um, because you are unique and wonderfully made. And so I think that's, that's been like my most important thing is that I don't have to be the best, I don't have to be perfect, and I couldn't be even if I wanted to. Um, but I do have something special that I can bring to a character and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be as honest as I possibly can. Um, so find, find your truth, like, you know, find out what makes you you and Put that into everything you do, that's my advice. Actor, actress. <laughs> you know her, you love her. She is Mike and Nancy's mother, Karen Wheeler. Please give a round of applause for Kara Buono! of filming season one and season two? I guess the similarities would be that um, uh, once we were on set, you know, in season one, like they said, we were just making our show and wanted to tell a story and um, kind of being in this bubble. And then when we got back to season two, once we got, you know, back into Atlanta and to the stage and everything, it was, it was just like that. Um, just kind of get back into your groove and into the, the bubble of, of what you're doing. Um, and I guess the difference is that then all of a sudden everybody knew about our show as opposed to before where I would say, yeah, I'm doing the show. And they say, what's it about? I'm like, well, the boy disappe disappears in a small town and these friends go to find him and then people look at me really bored and I go, oh, there's a monster. And I go, good luck with that. <laughs> so. I think just having more people know about it, I think people felt, everyone felt like, oh, we hope we want to make a better second season or just as good, so as not to disappoint the awesome fans that it turned out for us. Um, so I guess that was also kind of hovering over everybody's um, thoughts at the time. So it is now like, what time is it? It's 2.19, we just ate lunch. Um, this is my friend. Now we're taking a break till about what time, Mom? Uh, 4.30. 4 4.30, so like two hours. I'm going to edit vlogs on my phone, and um, then we go down for autographs, so like I get to like actually see Shannon, and there's people looking at me because I'm standing at the window. But anyway, I'm going to actually get to meet like Shannon and um, Brett and Kara and Mark and get their autographs and get to talk to them a little bit. So that's really super exciting. Yeah, I'm so excited, but tomorrow's gonna be even more exciting because <laughs> no one really, and I'm so excited. Um, when we're about to go get all the What you're going to do is How are you you're gonna go out of the theater. You're gonna see good. at the Starbucks, go all the way down oh, to hotel registration. I'm gonna, Once you see hotel registration, you're gonna turn left. I'm gonna There'll die, be I'm actually gonna die. Look. Look. So you're heading essentially to the other okay. ballroom in the theater. Okay, in the, uh, you're uh, I'll update after. Guys, we just met um, Kara and Shannon and um, Brett and Mark, and we, I just got all my photo op things. So here's Kara's and Brett's uh, and Shannon's. I love Shannon and Mark. People are staring at me, but it's fine. But um, literally, Shannon was like, "Jody, your name's adorable," and I was like, "Oh my gosh, thank you so much." I'm literally so happy right now. And we meet, who, who do we meet tomorrow? Haley, who, yeah. do, who do we meet tomorrow? We meet Noah, Snap, and Millie, Bob, and Brown. Please, Noah, please don't cancel. Please, I love you so much. I, I, <laughs> guys, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
sight upon the hour And the sun begins to fade Still enough time to figure out How to chase my blues away Hi guys. Okay, we just got back from karaoke. I filmed just a smidget for it, but I got caught up there, so. Um, but yeah, they confirmed, Millie confirmed on her story that she's gonna be here, and they just confirmed in there that Noah's gonna be here. So, I'm internally dying, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, today was fun and awesome, wasn't it, Mom? Yeah. So I am woo, so excited for tomorrow. Like, oh my gosh, it's going to be unrealistic. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see the rest of my what are you, vlogs for this con. And don't forget to comment down below. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in my next video.